Well, look, this comes after 30 years of wage suppression in the private sector. Uh, you, we've exported millions of jobs. Jersey, New York region have lost millions of manufacturing industrial jobs. So that first they shrink the, the private sector wage bill, and then they turn around to public sector workers and say, oh, you're the rich people. This is the old Lenny Bruce line. First they break your legs and then they laugh at you because you can't dance. Mm -hmm. uh, public sector workers are now going through what they put the United Auto Workers, United Steel Workers, the rubber workers through in, in the last 25 years. They claim that they had the Cadillac benefits and everything else. In the process, they've destroyed whole cultures in this country of productive work. And now they're going to turn around to public sector workers who provide essential services. You know, how did the teachers become the bad guys in this thing? Well, I think it's got more to do with a political agenda, an ideological view, than it does with actual economics. The well, truth of the know. matter I is, mean, because the, the teachers, unions is are more teachers unions are more committed to education reform than anybody in the press is going to give them credit for. Part of, part of it reflects a weakness in the private sector unions. You know, in terms of union density in this country, after this last 30 years of losing our manufacturing base, we're at the exact percentage of organized workers in the private sector that we were in 1901. Mm -hmm. And what they're really doing, in my view, they're going after the, the largest, most important component of the organized working class right now, which is in the public sector. It's the one place where if you play by the rules and you, you go get your education, you come to work each morning, you get out of bed, you do your job, that you can advance, get to the point where you have a pension which is your deferred wages put aside for you, and you can have a decent life at the end of a working life. And when governors like Christie and others start going after that wholesale, basically what they're saying is we're going to destroy a middle class standard that workers have achieved in this country through a century of organizing and hard work. That's what's at stake here.